Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sanjeev Goyal all the way from uh, Toronto, Canada, and I'm thrilled to be here to talk about aging and senescence. I hope you enjoy this talk and uh, feel free to contact me with any questions uh, that may come from, uh, from seeing this presentation. So the first thing I want to just talk about is our understanding of what aging is. And we start, are starting to think of aging as really a balance of our system uh, that maintains us in a, health, in a healthy state. So we can call that homeostasis. And when the body comes out of balance, that's disease. And uh, you can see that the body's constantly in our cells or are constantly in a kind of a, a, a war with the outsiding stressors, microbes, viruses, so on and so forth, that could tip us into, into an out of balance state or disease state. Um, as we age, we think that it becomes harder and harder for the body to maintain a state of equilibrium or homeostasis. And that's why disease becomes more prevalent as we get older. We think that the, the basic mechanisms of aging revolve around these three big terms, immunosenescence, inflammaging, and cellular senescence. So I'm gonna take you through these concepts and explain to you uh, how we're looking at aging now at really a cellular level. So the way we think about senescence is that it's really a cellular program that induces a stable growth arrest. And this includes you know, DNA remodeling, metabolic reprogramming, uh, autophagy, and a really the starting and of a of a whole pro-inflammatory cascade or secretome um, that basically causes the, uh, all these cellular, cellular aging processes to begin. Um, so it's a really a, the important thing about this senescence is that it's a permanent arrest in the growth of that, uh, of that cell or div and division. And, and really the purpose is that uh, to ensure that the damaged or transformed cells do not perpetuate their genomes. A very interesting study, and I thought I wanted to end off with, with uh, the study, which I thought was quite impressive. Uh, it talks about a supplement called TA65, which is, comes from a, an extract of astragalus and an ancient Chinese herb. And what this uh, study showed was that in humans, it was a, a double-blind placebo-controlled randomized trial, that this um, supplement, TA65, actually decreases this immunosenescent profile of CD8, CD28 minus T cells in humans. And as, again, as you know, there's been numerous studies that as we get older, CD8, CD, C, uh, CD8, CD28 minus T cells increase. And this um, supplement showed that they were dec it decreased these, uh, the sign of immunosenescent T cells. 